So if you want to learn finance, if you want to learn finance, you need to imagine like you're running a business. Let me open the file. <clears throat> See, for SCM consultant, he may be, he can understand easily for SCM, but finance, if you want to understand finance, you need to imagine like you are going to join in a software company, but you need to imagine you are running a business. That will be easy to understand uh, for you. Okay, so suppose you joined in a software company. You can mute yourself, please, everyone. Can you mute yourself, please? If you want to speak with me, you can unmute and you can interrupt me at any point. But if you are not speaking with me, please mute yourself. Okay, fine. So you are going to join in a software company. That software company is called Microsoft Partner Companies. Okay, now. So you are going to join in a software company. This is called Microsoft Partner Company and you are working for a client. That client, you are working for a project is called a client. What this client will do? They will purchase the material. They will sell the material. They will purchase the material and they will sell them. Sorry, they will sell them. So for the purchase, you need to pay money. For the sales, for this sales, you need to collect money from the customer. <clears throat> so you need to understand vendor invoice, vendor payment, customer invoice, customer payment. Okay, Kadar, if you don't mind, can you mute yourself? Okay, so we are going to learn vendor invoice, vendor payment, customer invoice, customer payment. These are the transactions you are going to learn in depth. Initial step, vendor invoice, vendor payment, customer invoice, customer payment. These are the four transactions you need to learn in the system. Okay, let me show you this one in the system. So can you mute yourself? And if you are speaking, then only you can uh, unmute. Otherwise, please mute yourself. So we are today we are learning about vendor invoice, vendor payment, customer invoice, customer payment. These four transactions you are going to learn in the system. So let me show you. So let me close this application. This is Microsoft Edge and you need to enter. You have to have one web link and you need to have username and password. <clears throat> if you want to access this application, you will open this uh, Microsoft Edge and you will have web link, one web link and you will enter username and password. So here it is installed in my local system. This is a trial version. That is the reason I'm able to open this one directly. But in real time scenario, you need to have username and password. Then only you can access this environment. So after that, right side corner, you will find so many companies. There are so many companies. So you need to go to USMF company. Here USMF company means United States Manufacturing Company. So it is the description is Contoso Entertainment System. It is there. Contoso Entertainment System in USA. But USMF means United States Manufacturing Company. Okay. So as I told you here, you are going to understand like this client. So to understand this ERP, not only Microsoft Dynamics ERP, any ERP, any ERP, if you want to learn, you need to imagine this is your company. Then it will be easy for you to understand. So you are running a business. This is your company. This is your company. Okay, fine. Now, what is your business? You are purchasing material. You are selling material. So that is vendor invoice. Here, the first invoice is, it is, uh, without any item. 
Randallamide random is without any hyphen. This is it is trading hyphen. What do you mean? The first one is you are going to use without any item or expense items. If you are purchasing expense items, then it is invoice. What do you mean by expense items? Suppose you are arranging water bottles. You are arranging water to your employees. Why you are purchasing these water bottles? Not for sales. I need to give, I need to arrange these water bottles to my employees. I am purchasing A4 stationery, A4 stationery bundles. Why I am purchasing this A4 stationery? I need to arrange it to my employees. I am purchasing pens. Why I need to purchase? I need to arrange these items to my employees. Stop plus. <coughs> so I need to arrange these facilities to my employees. Then only they can run, like we can run our business. So this is expense items. Expense items are invoice. So if it is invoice, that means without any item or expense item, we can do it. Okay. So now how to do it? Let me show you in the system. Accounts payable module. Accounts payable module. Collapse all. Invoices. Invoice journal. So if you want to take duplicate, you can take right click here, right click here, duplicate tab. So you can click on new button. You can click on new button, select the journal name. AP invoice, go to lines, select the vendor, click on tab, <coughs> invoice date and invoice number. What is this invoice number? Whenever you are purchasing, suppose A4 stationery, you are purchasing A4 stationery, then vendor will give you the invoice. Vendor will give you the invoice copy. That invoice number you can enter here. Invoice date. So what you have purchased? A4 stationery. <coughs> A4 stationery I'm purchasing. Okay, how much amount? $20. Now, offset account is expenses. It is office expenses. Now, save. It will show you here 20 debit and 20 credit. Okay, then you can post. Okay, so we have posted. Let me show you once again how to post it. Very simple. I'm clicking on home button. So first I'm closing this application. You need to click on Microsoft Edge and you need to enter the uh, like uh, web link and username and password also you need to enter. In real time scenario, you need to enter username and password and select USMF company. This is a trial version provided by Microsoft. Now you need to go to modules, accounts payable, collapse all, invoices, invoice journal. Click on new, select the journal name, AP invoice, go to lines button. <coughs>
select the vendor click on tab and invoice date and invoice number this invoice date and invoice number is you have received invoice whatever you are purchasing that material vendor will give the invoice copy that copy you are entering here and now it is 25 dollars next offset account it is you are entering office expenses save whatever you have entered here it is debit and credit is posted so this vendor account is credited and this is debited we'll discuss that point later Okay, vendor invoice is posted. It is number of watches posted to journal is one. It is posted perfectly. Blue ribbon without any errors. Without any errors, it was posted. Okay, that is vendor invoice. That is vendor invoice. Next, vendor payment. Vendor payment. So let me show you the next step. So accounts payable, collapse all, payments, vendor payment journal. So click on new, select the vendor, go to lines, so now select the vendor, click on tab, now you can enter amount manually or you can click on settle transactions. Just now you have generated one invoice that it will show you automatically here. You can select that invoice number, whatever it is there, you can select that invoice. Click OK. So it is coming as 24.87. Some discounts also there. From where it is coming, discounts we will discuss later. Okay, now I am selecting cash $25. I am paying cash. I am removing this check. I am selecting ledger. I am selecting cash. So 110180. Is a petty cash. I'm paying cash. So, 0 0.13 is a cash discount. What is that cash discount? You will understand later. I'm post. So I'm taking duplicate browser. I'm taking duplicate browser. Like right click here, right click, duplicate tab. So if you are doing like this, we need to create a vendor. Let me create one vendor account. Accounts payable, collapse all, vendors, all vendors. I'm creating a new vendor. So vendor account number 1010, I'm entering here. Suppose otherwise I will enter B121 number. Okay, what do you mean by this batch number is 121? So I'm creating batch 121 vendor. I'm selecting group, vendor group, I need to select, it is must. So for this vendor, B121 vendor, okay, B121 vendor, if you click on transactions, it is empty. This is a new vendor we have created, it is empty. Batch 121 vendor. 
So now I am doing invoice. It is if you verify the transactions, it is empty. No transactions, it is created. So I'm purchasing, suppose A4 stationery, invoice, invoice journal. Click on new button. So it is showing here AP invoice, AP accounts payable, invoice, invoice journal. Select from the drop down. Actually, this is our task. This is a configuration. So if you click on here, it is configuration. This how to create, you will understand after one month. After one month, one week. So it is, you are going to land October first week. You are going to land this one in October first week. So after six weeks, after five to six weeks, you are going to learn how to create this one. Okay, now go to lines button. Select the vendor account. Okay, so B121 vendor, I'm selecting. So invoice date and invoice number. This is you will get it this invoice number from the vendor. You will have a copy, invoice copy, that invoice number and invoice date will enter here. Suppose $25 or $30. And here you are writing here like uh, uh, water bottle summary. Okay, so here. You need to enter offset account. Purchase expenses. Otherwise, office expenses. You can enter anything. Office supplies or purchase expenses. Purchase expenses. You can. So, if you click on save, it will show you that I am posting. Okay, now if you verify vendor, it will show you transactions. Minus 30. Why it is showing minus 30? Because we need to pay money. If you are taking material from vendor to you, we need to pay money to the vendor. So vendor account will be credited. At this time, at this time, vendor account will be because it is wo appu in Telugu it is appu. We need to pay. We need to pay amount. So that is the reason vendor account is updated with minus. So if you want, you can see. Balance, it will show you minus thirty dollars. It is wow, up because I have taken material from the vendor. I need to pay this thirty dollars to vendor. Thirty dollars to vendor. It is up. Oh, okay. So transaction is showing minus. So at the time of at the time of vendor invoice, it is vendor will be created. Now, I am doing cash payment. Accounts payable. Accounts payable. Collapse all. Payments. Vendor payments. Click on new. <coughs> vendor payment. Go to lines. Select the vendor B121 vendor. Now you can enter manually the amount, otherwise, you can click on settle transactions. It will show you the amount. If you select, click OK. This will be updated vendor debit. So at the time of vendor payment, vendor account will be debited. 
is a positive one. Positive. I'm selecting cash. Ledger account. And I'm selecting cash, petty cash. It is 11080 petty cash. Otherwise, you can type here petty cash. We are paying cash to the vendor. So debit and credit is done. Post. So now if you go to the vendor transactions, it will post debit entry. First entry. Now, if you verify the vendor balance, vendor balance it is zero. Because at the time of invoice, vendor account will be credited. Vendor account will be credited. At the time of payment, vendor account will be debited. How can I remember these two? <coughs> okay. Give me a minute, please. <coughs> okay. So at the time of vendor payment, it is vendor account will be debited. Any doubt till now? Anyone is having any questions? Satya. Yes, please. I have a question. So before this yeah. transaction, we have we have created a vendor invoice, right? Invoice yeah. number one zero one or two zero one. So mm -hmm. can at the time of payment, can we choose mm -hmm. that invoice and directly like post and pay? Is there any flow like that? No, it no. is okay. through vendor payment only. You have to pay it. Otherwise, we have another option. We can go to the because you are. You are telling like I want to select one invoice and I will do Correct. Payment, right? Ha, ha. But if you are selecting multiple invoices, how to do it? If you want to do multiple invoices, how can you do it? So in the vendor, we have one more function. Directly you can click on payment. Payment. Okay. We have option. Okay. Yeah, but it will open the same thing. The same. It will open the same. It is not a new, new form. Okay. The same. Okay. Fine. Any you. more questions, yeah. team? Yeah, well. Any more questions, team? Anyone? Okay, no questions. So let me show you once again. So we have created one vendor. It is if you verify vendor balance. It is zero. It is zero. But of course, vendor invoice, vendor payment, we did it. Transactions, it is showing here. Two transactions. So let me do it now once again. Vendor invoice. So I'm going to home. Accounts table. Collapse all. Invoices. Invoice journal. <coughs> Click on new. Select the journal name. Go to lines. Date is coming. From where it is coming, you will understand later. Voucher number is coming. From where it is coming, you will understand later. We are selecting the vendor account. P121. So invoice number. I am entering some invoice number. It is while well, practicing, it is dummy number. But in the year term scenario, it is very, very important. Now. Suppose I'm entering same number once again. It will throw error message. Okay, I'm entering here. Suppose $25. Let me select the offset account, petty cash. Okay, 
it is showing error message. Why? The same number I have used earlier. It will not allow you. Already I have used. Okay, it will not allow you. It will validate duplicate. So I need to enter a new number. Okay, what is this? We'll discuss later about why these duplicates should not be allowed. So at the time of vendor invoice, if you post it, if you verify the vendor transactions, it will show you credit balance. And if you go to the vendor balance, you can see minus. <coughs> okay, minus. So at the time of vendor invoice, at the time of vendor invoice, vendor account will be credited. So in this golden rules, which one is there? Credit the receiver. Debit the receiver, credit the giver. This is giver. Because he is giving material to me. That is credit giver. Credit the giver is the rule here. Because who is giving to your company? The giver is vendor. That is the logic, the rule, the giver. And whenever you are doing vendor payment, it is opposite entry, opposite entry vendor account debit. And what goes out? Credit. Here, my cash is going out. It is credit this rule. Part goes out. So cash is credit and then it is vendor account debit. Okay, we'll discuss that too. debit and credits once again, again, and again. We'll, we'll discuss a lot. So now you understood at the time of vendor invoice, vendor account credit, at the time of vendor payment, vendor account debit. Same. Let us understand customer side. Customer side, let us understand. Just a minute. So I'm creating a customer. Accounts receivable. Collapse all customers. <coughs> all customers. I'm creating a customer. P121 customer. <coughs> That's 121. Sorry. Okay. Batch 121 customer. So here you need to select customer group. It is must. Click save. Okay, if you verify the transactions, it is disabled. You can't find anything because there is no transactions. If you verify the balance, zero. Okay, now if you want to do customer invoice, the first option is pretext invoice. So this is also without any item. Without any item, <coughs> okay, without any item, you are doing one. Critics. So, mm -hmm. where we can do it? Accounts receivable module, accounts receivable module, collapse all, invoices, all critics. Okay, let me write down this path. Okay. 
invoice journal. <coughs> Sorry. Invoice journal. Accounts payable. Invoices. Invoice journal. Hey, it is a vendor payment. It is an accounts payable. Payments vendor payments. Let me show you the spot. Accounts payable. Invoices invoice journal. That's what I have written here. Vendor payment means accounts payable, payments, vendor payments. Are. It is a free text device. These accounts receivable, invoice, all free text device. Let me show you. Accounts receivable, invoices, all critics. So click on new. Select the customer. Little bit different, it will be there. So batch 121 customer. Now you need to select offset account. Four series, it is revenue, service revenue, you can enter. Suppose fifty dollars. Actually, what is this retex noise? Suppose you are providing services to your customer. What do you mean by services? Suppose, suppose you are executing uh, like you are selling air conditioners, you are selling air conditioners. Then your customer called you and this air conditioner is not working. Then your representative, your sales representative or your repair, uh, some service engineer, he will go to the customer and he will do some service and he will charge money. That is this. Okay, so you are providing services to your customers. That is this part. Click. Click. So once it is posted, once it is posted, if you verify the customer, like in the customer, Refresh the screen. This is screen refresh. This is refresh the browser. I'm doing refresh screen. Then transactions button is enabled. Balance button is enabled. Balance button is it is debit. So at the time of free text device, at the time of customer invoice or free text device, customer account will be debited. Customer account will be debited. Yeah, customer account will be debited. How can I remember customer account? Debit the receiver. So here, customer. He is receiving from us. Debit the receiver. Debit the receiver. This rule. If you are applying customer account. This is vendor is credit the giver. 
This is credit the giver. This is debit the receiver. Because he is receiving from us the receiver. The receiver. Debit the receiver. At that time, customer account is debited positive. And if you verify customer transactions, it is debit balance. My balance, my balance is with customer. Customer need to pay to me. So at the time of retention wise, customer account debited. The debit the receiver. Now I'm doing customer payment. Means actually customer receipt. This is in India we will call it as customer receipt. But but actually the word it is customer is paying money. That is the reason it is customer payment journal. But in India we will call it as receipt. It is a receipt. Click on new. Select the journal name. Now this journal name, how to create? It is a configuration. You need to learn this one later. After one and a half month, I mean to say, uh, first week of October. The first week of October, you are going to learn these things. What is this purpose? <coughs> Click on lines. Select the customer. V121. Now you can click on settle transactions. Select the price. Click OK. Now I'm doing payment. Suppose pretty cash, customer is paying cash. So I'm selecting pretty cash. Okay, I'm posting. <coughs> Once it is posted, if you verify the customer, if you refresh customer account credit, customer account credit, balance is zero. Okay, so at the time of customer payment, customer account will be credited. Customer account. So which rule it is applicable means actually here, what comes in? Cash, it is debit. What comes in? What comes in is debit. So cash is coming. Comes in. So this is this is the entry. Now you have to remember this invoice postings. At the time of vendor invoice, <coughs> vendor account will be credited. Expenses account debit. Expenses account data to under account credit. All expenses debit. Expenses account data to vendor account credit. At the time of vendor payment. Okay, here cash or bank balance will be decreased. Cash balance or bank balance will be decreased because I am paying cash. So what goes out? Rule under account data to under account data to cash account credit. Because at the time of invoice, vendor account credit, at the time of vendor payment, it is debit so that it will become zero. The rule is here this rule is 
what goes south credit what goes south here it is the giver rule here this is debit all expenses and losses the rule the golden rules you need to remember these three golden rules you need to read even though you are a non you are a non commerce background guy suppose you are a science background guy please read this one debit the receiver credit the giver <coughs> debit the receiver credit the giver three golden rules this rules are rules means you need to follow personal account real account nominal accounts personal accounts is debit the receiver credit the giver real accounts debit what comes in credit what goes out nominal accounts debit all expenses and losses credit all incomes and gains this will confuse you a lot for everyone okay i will give you explanation little bit more explanation on monday about this one this is a confusion to everyone majority people confusion okay what is the confusion what is the solution i will explain you on monday so here whenever you are doing invoice debit all expenses and losses credit all incomes and gains okay that rule you are applying here debit expenses and then vendor account the giver this two rules vendor payment here what goes out my money is going out so if you want to understand here the material receiver i am adding here it is i cannot i should not add but for understanding purpose i am adding here the material receiver the material giver it will be easy to understand <coughs> if you apply like this it will be easy here what comes in cash or bank here also cash or bank at the time of customer invoice customer account data to revenue account credit so here debit the receiver this rule So here it is all incomes and gains. Customer payment. Customer payment means customer is paying. I am receiving money. So my cash balance or bank balance will be increased. My cash balance or bank balance increased. What comes in? And then customer account bill. So these four entries, whether you want or you don't want, you need to learn. You need to apply logic or you need to learn. Initial one week, ten days. Every day we are going to discuss this about about this one. Vendor invoice, vendor payment, customer invoice, customer. Payment. so this path also let me write down customer pay accounts receivable payments customer payment so four transactions four vouchers so in the market there are so many people who don't know about debits and credits they became a functional consultants who don't know about debits and credits they became a functional consultants but i want my students who learn from me should be know about this four entries so this four entries are 
if you want to learn english you need to learn a b c d this is a this is b this is c and this is d okay this is only this four transactions if you understand you can become a finance consultant so how much time it will take to remember this one i'll tell you one one uh, information whenever i am providing training classroom sessions offline classroom sessions i have given imposition i have given imposition to them i am a teacher i am a teacher i have given imposition now i cannot ask here imposition it is your responsibility you need to remember this four entries if you learn this four entries you can become a finance consultant if you are clear about this four entries you can become a finance consultant okay so four transactions in three golden rules three golden rules personal accounts debit the receiver credit the giver but i have added this within the bracket i have added for your understanding purpose the material receiver customer is receiving material from us the material giver who is giving vendor is giving okay this golden rules i have applied here just have applied okay so you need to remember this one i will explain you a number of times this logic in the during the session and if this if you are not able to remember you need to buy hard these are the two options logically i am explaining a lot every week every day i will discuss with you about this debits and credits in detail okay and not only this one i am going to discuss with you one chart of accounts chart coming soon you are going to learn give me a minute you are going to learn this chart of accounts classification in your commerce you learn these two topics if you learn you learn commerce finance sorry not this one you may please is not a part of it so these two one is vendor postings the entries just now you learned and another one is this one if you understand these two diagrams you can become a finance consultant so one is this one is four entries and the one is this chart of accounts classification balance sheet profit and loss balance sheet is further bifurcated into assets and liabilities profit and loss account will be divided into revenue and incomes and expenses this diagram and this four entries if you learn you can become a finance consultant only to understand these two it will take time immediately if you are able to understand now itself well and good otherwise i will make sure you are going to learn this this two. okay and one more thing i hope majority you know my number okay you can ping me in my whatsapp i will give you uh, the new link mostly i will arrange you new link okay otherwise old link or new link it is not at decided <coughs> i will give you if you don't have my link means you are uh, you came from visual path you can approach visual path visual path will give you the link okay either you can approach me if you know my v dash id you can approach me don't approach visual path okay so if you don't have my contact number you can approach visual path if you come through visual path if you are directly approaching me you can approach me directly okay i will give you new link 
uh, fra from Monday onwards. The new link from the Monday onwards. Right. Any more questions, team? Any more questions? Uh, yes, Satya. So, what is that nominal account and the real account? So, this is golden rules. The golden rules. So, personal Actually, account is account which uh, we are using, right? Which one? Uh, personal account is uh, hmm. which we are using, like a hmm. SB account, uh, right? Hmm. So, yes. what is real account and nominal account? So, uh, like... Uh, uh, is it is your name is uh, uh, like uh, Veerappan or Kasi? Veerappan. Yeah. yeah Veer okay. okay. So Veerappan, like you know, like in the bank, you are a non-commerce background guy, am I right? Mm, yeah. Okay. So in your actually, if you learn commerce, CEC commerce, or BCom commerce, or BBA or MBA, in your seven years training, like seven years, like CEC. BCom and intermediate degree and MBA masters, you will learn these rules. These are three golden rules. The lecturer will explain these golden rules. Golden rules, this is personal account, real accounts, and nominal accounts. Okay. So you are talking about SB account and current account means you are talking about bank terminology, am I right? Mm, yeah. So that is different. That is different. And this is golden rules in your commerce. In, in the commerce, teacher or lecturer, sorry, not teacher, lecturer will teach about these the three golden rules. <coughs> this is commerce rules, the golden rules. Personal account, real accounts, and nominal accounts. Debit the receiver, credit the giver. Debit what comes in, credit what goes out. Nominal accounts, all the expenses. Debit all expenses and losses, credit all incomes and gains. So these things I will discuss with you once again whenever I'm discussing here. Start of accounts. Whenever I'm discussing here, start of accounts, I will discuss with you again so that you can understand even though you are a non-commerce background person. But this is a golden rules in commerce. Started accountants or like uh, uh, MBA, master's degree, or BBA, or BCom, uh, these people will learn these three golden rules. Okay. Okay. Any more questions, please? Any more questions? Someone ping it here. So Satish, uh, you, yes, you are you joined from uh, Visual Path, Satish? How you got this link? Uh, with uh, Mr. Chandra, actually in the uh, okay, BAM member, fine. I am the BAM member. So member. yeah, yeah, I will share with you my number. No problem. I received your number uh, from Chandra Shekhar. I will, I will yes, uh, get it to you. Okay. One more. Satish, thing. your number One is uh, nine zero eight three. Am I right? Yes, correct. Okay, fine. I will, I will give you. I will uh, uh, ping you. Okay. Okay, fine. And, and is it Nagesh only also. online? Yes, please. Yes, please. Uh, this session and all only online. Is it available or even offline also? Online only. Online only. I will. You will get video recordings also. I will share with you video recordings also. Okay, Nagesh, one two four eight. Nagesh, for you also, I will share with you. Okay, Nagesh. Yeah. So. In in few minutes, I will share with you uh, my contacts, uh, Satish and uh, uh, Nagesh. Okay, fine. Anything else, please? Even Sri Charan also. I think Sri Charan, you got my number, am I right? Sri Charan? Okay, no problem. I think I will discuss with them. Yeah. Anything else, team? Anyone? Any more questions? Any more questions? No more questions. We can wind up the session. Uh, I will publish this uh, uh, this uh, recording in YouTube. In YouTube, I have my channel AX Satya. Okay, in AX Satya, you can look at my channel. In that, I I, I will upload uh, this video today video, uh, SCM and finance. I will upload in YouTube AX Satya. My channel is AX Satya.
Can you write yeah, down yeah. the channel name, please? Yeah, I'm I'm doing now. Give me a minute. 